Kelsey and Alex back again with another CDHF Talks, one that we're very excited to chat about. Yes, today's topic is the role of nutrition and diet in a healthy gut microbiota. You may have heard the term gut microbiota before, but if you haven't, you might be surprised to know that there are trillions of microbes that reside and live inside of our digestive tract, and they play an important role in our overall health. Researchers continue to look for ways to harness the power of the gut microbiota for better health. While we don't have a specific definition for a healthy gut microbiota yet, we know that there are certain lifestyle and environmental factors that help to encourage the growth of health-promoting bacteria in the gut. And certain factors can also have a negative impact on the gut microbiota too. We're very excited to have CDHS registered dietitian and gut health expert Andrea Hardy with us today, who will be discussing how the food we eat influences our gut microbiota. This includes things like fiber, Korean probiotics, fermented foods, and where research in the area of the gut microbiota is headed. So without further ado, let's get to it. Your gut microbiota is the makeup of bacteria, viruses, and fungi in the gut. Our gut is home to trillions of bacteria that play an integral role in our health. And we can kind of think of these like an ecosystem. So our gut bacteria work together to help form a population that helps to uh, take care of our health and if for any reason it's disrupted, may actually allow for opportunistic disease-causing microbes to crop up. So with this, researchers are really interested in learning how to prevent that from happening and harnessing the power of the gut microbiota to take care of our health. So when it comes to taking care of our gut microbiota, I like to say that if you take care of them, they will help to take care of you. And some important functions they do for us include things like digesting things we can't, like fiber. They produce beneficial compounds, things like short chain fatty acids. They help to promote and train our immune system so that it functions properly. And they do other important things like regulate hormones, mood, and energy level. While we don't have a specific definition of what a healthy gut microbiota is yet, we do know that there's several important factors that are associated with lower disease risk. And this include things like having a good balance of bacteria in the gut, having an abundant gut microbiota, and then really having a lot of diversity in that bacterial population. While the research is still in its infancy, we do know that there are a lot of things we can do now to help promote a healthy gut microbiota. Mm -hmm. 